I don't have a good feeling about this guy. I'm Richard Nixon, and I'm here to restore peace to the world. That doesn't sound so bad. And I'm Henry Kissinger, insouciant robot here to make peace. But what is peace, really, but a shopping mall for power? Oh, that's good. I thought you'd like it, like one of those motivational success posters. Yeah, we can hang the, that on the wall. Absolutely, yes. Now, let's bomb Cambodia. Um, we're not even at war with Cambodia. No matter. And what are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. The supply routes in Cambodia to North Vietnam have been destroyed. Now, to negotiate peace. How many Cambodians died? Ah, uh, who can say? Hundreds of thousands, maybe. I'm not a numbers guy. Point is, it's a small price to pay for peace. Am I right? Okay. They have rejected peace. We have no choice now but utter destruction. Hell no, we won't go. 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 What do I do with all these people demanding love and, and respect? Peasants. Mr. President. Yes. Just spitballing here. Sure. Just came to me like a moment of inspiration. Let's hear it. Utter destruction. Oh. What? No. Kissinger. Jesus. We can't just directly attack U.S. civilians. Holy moly, man, you are a buzzkill, you know that. <laughs> really, it's unpleasant. I mean, here's a crazy idea. I guess we could always start a war on drugs and begin harshly penalizing possession of marijuana. Hippies love doobies. What are you doing? And heroin. Black people love heroin, I think. And then that would kind of, sort of, make it legal to aggressively patrol and imprison both hippies and black people, all in the name of their own protection. But I mean... <laughs> I see no repercussions but my own immediate gain. Let's do it. Yes. Ah, peace at last. Beautiful, suppressive peace. And look, you won re-election in an unprecedented landslide. Everything's coming up Richard Milhouse Nixon. Ah, sorry, boss. We were caught snooping around the DNC headquarters at Watergate. St I, I don't... Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I am not a crook. What? You know, to gain intel for your re-election campaign. Hey, what's going on over there? Ooh, Everyone, yeah. it's crazy. Look, over there. Look over there. Oh yeah, I know that ongoing Arab-Israeli fighting and our political involvement in it is the very foundation for which future terrorists and extremist regimes are based, but could we get back to the Watergate thing? The, the, the what's, Watergate? Watergate. I'm really, really drawing a blank here. I don't... Uh... Oh, really? It's synonymous with scandal. Fun fact, it started all the future gates. Yeah, that's what it's based from. I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't, uh, oh, weird. Uh, never, never... Sounds fun. Sounds fun. It's not fun. Any toot, I think it's going to be the only thing people remember about you. There's, there's nothing more to say. They're on to us. Have the CIA block the investigation. Uh, I can hear you? No, no. It's our fault. We'll take the blame. Yeah. You'll pardon us, right, Nixon? You're on your own. Are you kidding me? Fine, since I can't prove Nixon knew everything because I wasn't recording him just now, I'll take you two. Oh, just use his own recordings. This guy's a paranoid maniac that records everything in the Oval Office. I'm Richard Nixon, and I am a crook. You know they'll impeach you, right? No. No, they can't impeach me. I quit. Ha-ha! Oh, ha-ha! You won't have Richard Nixon to kick around anymore! Find a new boogeyman! Oh. You know, actually, Nixon said that in 1962, when he lost the California gubernatorial election. Probably should have just quit then. You know, instead of put recording devices all over the Oval Office, 
or bothering to cheat in an election he was gonna win anyway. You know, without Watergate, Nixon would have been remembered as the man who ended the Vietnam War, opened up diplomatic relations with China, and created the Environmental Protection Agency. This video doesn't even include those last two bits because they're so irrelevant to his legacy. He sucked. His vice president has got to be better. I'm Gerald Ford and the first thing I'm gonna do is pardon Nixon for everything. There you go. What? Hey, what about us? What about you? You're on your own. Fucking vice presidents.